Cooper, you've been out and about in Chadwell St Mary this morning. What's the message out the streets there? Well, we had lots of people out campaigning with Polly Billington, uh, you know, strong uh, team out door knocking, talking to people. I spoke to a gentleman who was telling me how he remembered the starting of the NHS uh, when he was in the army and how important the National Health Service is to us. So that is what we are campaigning for. We've got to save our NHS, rebuild our NHS, get the doctors and the nurses that we need into our precious National Health Service. Are you able to direct your conversation with people towards things at the NHS or are they trying to deflect you to other subjects? Well, people talk about lots of different things. So obviously we have conversations about what's happening with the economy and the slowdown that's been announced that just shows you know people are not benefiting from David Cameron and George Osborne's claims and their economic policies working people are being left behind. People also talk a lot about immigration and we've had our 10 point plan that Labour's set out today, our 10 point plan around controlling and managing immigration so that the system is fair. And then of course also the National Health Service, those are the three big things I think that come up most. How do you feel you've dealt with the subject of immigration? Do you, do you think you, you, you've covered yourself in glory or do you think you're doing things a little bit late? Well, we've set out 10-point plan today. I mean, they're all practical things that we would do. And, you know, I've been here in Thurrock before, having public meetings on immigration, talking to people, listening to people. I've done the same all around the country. Because what people say is, look, immigration's important for Britain, but it's got to be controlled and managed, and it's got to be reformed. The system's got to change. So we've got plans for stronger border controls with a 1,000 more border staff to do the job, but with also changing the benefit rules so people can't claim until they've been here for at least two years and most importantly because none of the other parties are dealing with it dealing with these agencies and dodgy firms who are using immigration to undercut local pay and jobs we're the only party that's prepared to take that on you keep a, a, a head in the polls here um, what is it I know people talk about polls what do you think Polly Billington can do between now and May, May the 7th to, to get that lead back well, I think in the end, the only poll that matters is on election day itself. And that's why, you know, Polly's got a great, strong campaign out, a great positive campaign for the future of our country, the future of this area, believing in the people of this country that we can have a more optimistic future rather than just knocking us and rather than just turning the clock back. That's, I think, what Polly is offering. That's what she's campaigning for. You know, it's a brilliant candidate uh, that, you know, would be a fantastic MP really standing up for this area. I'm going to just um, switch to another subject, which is crime. Mm. About 90 days ago, a police officer was interviewed by Radio 4 here, here in Tilbury, and he said for 160,000 population, there are six officers mustering at 2 o'clock on a back shift. How on earth did it get to that? And can you make a pledge that if you become Home Secretary that we won't have six officers, we'll get back somewhere near to that figure between 20 and 40? Well, I think this is a massive problem because the Tories have cut 17,000 officers across the country. We think we've lost over 500 police officers from Essex Police Force alone. And what's worse is they want to go further. They want to do the same again. We could lose another 10,000 officers in the next few years alone. So we said oh, we'll do things in a different way. We'll have an alternative plan that would stop those 10,000 police officers being cut. Let's do things like get rid of the police and crime commissioners and put that money back into the front line. Let's stop the gun subsidy and put that money back into the front line. Let's get forces working together, put that money back into the front line. So we would guarantee that areas will have neighbourhood police on the streets. It's really important for our communities. Thank you very much.